Hello and welcome back to Harada Town. I just wanted to say before we get started here, I am so thankful for all the very nice comments I've been getting about this series. I personally was looking forward to it, but I had no idea how much it was going to resonate with other fans of Banished and ostensibly fans of history. So thank you for stopping in, thank you for watching, and thank you for your kind comments in the comments section. And some of you have reached out to me on Twitter and other platforms to say that you're enjoying the series, and it means so much to me. I've been putting together content for over a year now, and this is one of my most exciting series for a number of reasons, uh, but one of the big ones is just because people seem to be enjoying it. So we're here in spring of the year 14. We are continuing to expand, I guess you'd say, um, but we are doing so in a way that is a little bit different. Um, we had talked last time about probably putting in a castle up here when we get closer to the medieval period, but that is not going to be for quite some time. Uh, that's going to take some time and effort. And at this point, we are hoping that our traders can do a good job to keep us alive. But also, we just don't want to expand too rapidly. Um, we're trying to replicate... Oh, there is one down here. Wow. Good deal. I think I might put a few more on this side of the creek. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, maybe f facing the creek, right? That's where I want my house. Nope. There we go. Alright. So these folks are going to, you know, be living down here doing some of these more far-reaching jobs. What are we... Oh, we hit 5,000 food. Great. Uh, love to see it. We're going to go ahead and bump that to 25,000 because we don't want to slow down. We have over 50 people. Now, if you're not familiar with this, uh, it's sort of considered common knowledge in banished circles, but every person in your society, in your city, town, uh, will eat 100 food. They'll consume 100 food in a year. So if you want to have food on reserve, you know, like right now, I'm less than a year reserve based on my population because everybody consumes 100, even babies. So you're not safe and say, like, oh, kids won't consume as much. As soon as they are born, as soon as you get one of these indications down here in the event log that says somebody is born they immediately start consuming food so keep that in mind as you play because every time I put in one of those little houses then a new couple joins right a new couple is gonna move from their parents house into their own house which is great that's how you like you know we can see here I have way too many houses, <laughs> uh, and, and we know that, but um, I'll slow down on it soon. Isn't ducks exactly what we already have down here? What's the difference between a trade duck and a duck? Are these... I'm going to trade some reeds for two of these just because I want to, I want to see if they're the same. Okay, dismiss. Now what if I shut you down? Now what if I make you work again? Put a person in here.
I'm so confused. Did the ducks leave? Are we gonna, is this gonna say four ducks now? There's one of them flying right there. Did you see it? There it goes. I don't know how small this will be. It depends what you're what you're watching the game on, but that's pretty hilarious. So they're producing nothing. They're useless. But I can't change this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it, are they going to show up in the inventory? Are, are there ducks and then trade ducks? Duck. Trade. Orders. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Trader. Down. Up. What? Who's without a job now? What did I do? I broke it. I broke it, guys. That's it. Late autumn 14. All done. I broke it. I'm just kidding. I won't quit that easily. Oh, it's because I hired and fired a herdsman. That's what it is. So now I feel like I screwed up and I just bought two ducks that are going to die at the trader. Unlucky. Okay. So here we go. Um, castle area. Okay. Looks like they're getting that iron. We're okay on wood. We got 600 wood. We have got. Sorry, I don't mean to. Don't mean to be slanging around here. Forester. How you doing, Forester? About 80 a year. How you doing, Forrester? About 96 last year, 76 this year. All right. Could be worse. Got this river down here. Cool. Oh, my. Everybody's all filled up. We should have room over at this school. Send the children to that school. You're full of tools. That's fine. I'm not going to increase that yet. You are full of firewood at 500. Love to see it. Love to see it. Everybody else is doing their level best to get food and other things gathered. I do like to... I don't know if I've mentioned this in this series or not, but... I do like to remark the gathering uh, every season, if I think of it, because there's different types of food in different seasons, different types of wild food. So we want to take a look at this. See how this gatherer comes all the way down here? We want to make sure that we're not doubling up on what the gatherers are already doing. So I don't want to be coming up here in this area. But we can go above where the gatherer is if we need to. Okay, what would you bring us? Broccoli seeds, finally. Thank you. A domesticated crop. And we have the reeds to trade for it. Lovely. Okay, so it's winter time. Let's find... Some pl okay, so we have two foresters down here. This is no longer going to be our agricultural area. So if this is going to be downtown up here, I think, I think it's pretty safe to say our official downtown is going to be up there, like colonial era downtown. I think we want to start putting in agriculture from the pens to here right in this area I think is what we want to have so we're gonna go in here and put a field in like an 8 by 10 8 by 10 right there 
and we'll put a, f a road to that and we're also going to put in another animal pen here with another road separating those so that we can have animal pens and fields all through this area okay so this is going to be our first our broccoli field here and then hopefully we'll get some other seeds here soon pardon me I just wanted to say again thank you so much for watching I know you have a lot of different media to choose in this day and age and the fact that with everything that's on Netflix and TV and movies and everything out there it's very flattering that you would choose to watch me play a game uh, and I don't take it lightly I appreciate each and every one of you for clicking on the video hopefully I'm able to enrich your day teach you something too here and there turnip seeds perfect alright so if you're wondering why I'm all of a sudden willing to buy these seeds uh, for one thing, I have been all along. They just weren't delivering seeds all along. Uh, but the other thing is, we are advancing our time period, right? We're advancing our time period, and we're saying that domesticated crops were a part of what characterized the transition from hunter-gatherers nomadic societies moving into settled societies what do you need to be a settled society water which is why we're staying along the waterways and you need a reliable food source so as long as there are animals still around you know we've got stationary hunters We've got a hunter over here shooting uh, ducks, bringing in duck meat every year. Uh, we've got f people fishing, and multiple people fishing. And then we've got some hunters who are bringing in venison for us. Uh, they bring in venison every year, which also provides us with leather and bone meal to other necessary products for survival particularly until we got our linen the you know someone turning flax into linen we were using leather exclusively so if I do this oh my word they're seriously two different things trade ducks and ducks trade ducks don't produce anything they're just for trading well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do when we get another animal that comes in we're gonna take the trade ducks out and we will put another animal in because we want animals that are going to give us production. We don't just want trade animals. So I think I might bring a road through here. If you, if you weren't here last time, we also got our mead mead maker. There's probably a word for, for that. Uh, we got that finished, which I'm excited about watching. It helps with happiness. Uh, alcohol helps with happiness in this game. Um, you know, all, all, all caveats expressed, if you struggle with alcohol, please, please don't see this as me making light of it. Um, it's, it's just something that's built into the game, and it was a historical reality, particularly in the early period, people actually could more rely, ooh, summer, it's probably too late for our turnips this year, but we'll try it. People could more reliably... Uh, drink alcohol as being clean, sterile, they're not going to get sick than some actual sources of water like streams, interestingly and accurately. So I know that we've been through this whole conversation about storage. We have this small barn here and this small barn here. But what if one of our gestures towards settling down means that we put in a proper barn here? 
let's look and see. So there's a, this. This is like the base game barn. I don't think it looks tech-wise too advanced. So I'm okay with that. Let's see what do we have here. Storage, yards, a town tithe. Okay, definitely not that. Storage barns and warehouses. Small barn. No. Medieval barns. Yeah, I would agree. That's definitely medieval. Okay. Well, that'll be cool when we get there, but we're not there. So this small barn we've been using. This barn, maybe. Uh, that looks a little more medieval era to me. Mini storage is kind of a waste. We need storage shed. No, that's later. Magazines later. Barn storage. That's cool. <laughs> I definitely want to do that. So what do we have here? We have lumber, stone, and more lumber. So it's not Maybe not yet, but we're, we're not really making lumber in this area. Um, wait, which one was that? What, what differentiates these? Red. Is it the color of the... Oh, that's all red. It's all painted. Do they have variants? Oh, okay. Okay, so either one can be that. Oh, I see. A storage barn. Barn for storage. Okay, I don't see anymore. And then this one says for edible and not edible vegetables. So this one's vegetable specific. Oh, and it has additional color variants. I like that a lot. Okay, good to remember. Dry goods storage. Did we get any turnips in? It doesn't look like it. We're sitting at 4,800 on 4,900 on food. That's okay. All right, this is later for sure. Later, later. Promising, but later, later, later. All right. I think we'll go with a base game barn here. Right. there. Alright, what'd you bring us? Plums! Hmm. A plum orchard. That sounds delightful. Let's go with that. 35. Oops. 3,500. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. Alright. Uh, we don't specifically have an orchard planned. But I'm okay with putting in an orchard perhaps there. What'd you bring us? Oh, pigs. Perfect. We'll take two of those. Okay. Now you hang out there, pigs, for just one second. Bamboo. That's not that's not gonna cut it for our where we're at. So we want to empty out these trade ducks inventory. Can I even do that? Is that a thing I can do here? Trade <laughs> Uh I can't put trade ducks here. Can I kill them and eat them? I just don't understand. What did I do wrong? It just feels like a gimmick. Like, why? If anybody knows what I did wrong here, please do let me know. Like, these ducks are already giving us eggs. These ducks have been here for three years or whatever, for a while, and they're not giving anything. But yet, we can't get rid of them. I can't trade them. Maybe we'll kill them? Uh, 
Wow, these these episodes go so fast because I love this game so much. Uh, I bet a lot of you all can relate to that. I feel like I am no sooner I solve like two problems and I look up and I'm like, oh, two see two years have gone by. But this has been a huge episode in that we've added agriculture. I think for next year we'll we'll see if we can get put in a few more fields. At least let's do one more. I don't think we'll do two more. Let's do one more. These fields feel huge because of how because of how this map is or you know how this settlement is. But these are eight by tens. These these are not big fields. That's just funny. Okay, we'll put a plum orchard in. That'll be a little bit of a delay. But then eventually we might be able to do uh, plum alcohol. Okay, so are you gonna let me change this or what? Do we need to have somebody staffing it to kill them? I don't know. I hope we can get our pigs down there so we can get pork. How are we doing on... We have a town arrival. Let's check. Uh, okay, so fish. It might be time to think about starting to preserve the fish. Let's see if any of the preservation techniques, smoking or putting them into uh, barrels or whatever, if any of those, or salting them, something like that could be a next step. Because preservation of food is integral to any, even, even early, early urbanization. You have to be able to preserve your food. You can't possibly have enough fresh food on hand for an urban population. Trade ducks. you got to be out of your mind. Okay. So, can I bring pigs down here yet? Still one more to kill? Alright, let's look at, let's look at preservation. Fish preservation stuff. Bakery, preservists, fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's that's not it. Okay, so here's a smokehouse. Let's take a look at this design. Do we have an empty spot that I can see this a little bit? Not morally opposed to that. We would need to get lumber going, which is feels a little bit down the line. Not quite yet. So these are medieval buildings. So there's not like a... Huh. I guess I foolishly thought that there would be some sort of like an older smokehouse or saltery like here's the salting house but that's I mean that's probably like 10 years down the line for us alright let's do another broccoli field I wonder if these turnips are even oh okay question answered so the trade ducks uh, I don't we might have to tear this down and rebuild it so we can put pigs in. So I guess that's our 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 tragic comedy of this episode is that we traded for new animals and now if I reclaim <laughs> you kidding me. Okay, we'll let them tear it down and we'll just rebuild it. Uh the workarounds we do. If you know anything about the trade ducks, you want to leave a comment down below. That would help me. Uh, I'll be an episode or two ahead of you, but I'll still read it and still be thankful for your insight. And maybe we'll trade for them again down the line. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Bluebelly. I will catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.